Alan Mittal seems unfazed by the turmoil surrounding his Greenfield project in Orissa. His plans are ready and he is now making backup plans to source iron ore. Here's the story. Lakshmi Mittal doesn't give up that easily and the controversy around the Churia mines in Jharkhand isn't going to make him change his India plans. Arsalar Mittal is still hopeful that it will get access to the mines for its Greenfield plant in Jharkhand. Yeah, we are hopeful. I mean, without that um, uh, resolution, uh, the, the project is always going to be difficult because iron ore linkage is very important for a project of that size. Other iron ore sources have also been identified as fallback options because the world's largest steel player is serious about starting work on its new Orissa and Jharkhand plants by the end of this year. We have applied for a few other mines both in Jharkhand and Orissa. Um, it's been dealt with with the state government at the right levels. We have made a lot of progress uh, in both the states. Um, uh, the land uh, identification has been completed. We are in the process of now acquiring the, uh, the land. Uh, we have also uh, very advanced in terms of the DPR, uh, which uh, which will be completing in the next few months. And uh, we are hoping that the project can start by the end of this year in terms of front-end engineering, etc. Yeah. Detailed project report for both the plants in Orissa and Jharkhand is ready. Arsalar Mittal will need about 600 million tons of iron ore for each of its 12 million ton plants. Coal linkage for both the plants have been confirmed by the state governments. Several other joint ventures have also been lined up with domestic partners for smaller metal businesses, including a joint venture with Shivalik Biometals and Germany's Ohama. For metal clad solution, the JV will tap 2,000 crore rupees cladding market worldwide. With these small tie-ups, ArcelorMittal is finally starting its operations in India. In New Delhi, with Rajkumar Sahu, Saurabh Chakravarti for NDTV.